dreadful night. The thief is coming in. Uh oh, busted. Hi guys, so today I'm gonna make a theft alarm. Not any old theft alarm, but a theft alarm using the Arduino. The Arduino is a simple board where we need to connect this board to the computer, the PC, and then we can type the code which your PC can convert to binary code and send it to the Arduino. And that can be converted into output which runs the whole device. So let's see what the sensors are. First of all, we need an ultrasonic sensor. This sensor uses ultrason ultrasonic waves. When, it, when uh, any one of these ring like things is the emitter and the other is the sensor. So when one of them rejects, uh, emits the ultrasonic wave, it bounces off the object and enters this one. Example, and then we can receive that info in the echo pin. So, and then to understand when the sensor has been activated, we have two buzzers. And for some lighting, a few red LEDs, five of them to be exact, and jumper wires. For the connection, we are using a breadboard. So, shall we start? First of all, let's connect the ultrasonic sensor like this. Okay, so we have connected the ultrasonic sensor and then let's connect both the buzzers as you can see we have a 220 ohm resistor so let's connect it To this the middle terminal and take each and every LED the anode is on the first upper line the cathode in the lower line like that you can make it a formation If you connect the resistor to the lower line, the longer leg should always be in the lower line. Okay, so as you can see, this is the formation I chose. So this is the connection done. Now let's connect this thing to the Arduino. First of all, connect the 5 volt pin to any random place like this and 
the G, the G and D pin or the ground pin to a place near it. So first, as you remember, the ground pin is in this line. So in any random place, push this pin here and the other end over here. This is a male to male jumper wire and we have used a few of them. So let's take another one and connect it in front of the resistor as you can see like this. And this pin, let's connect it to pin 4 in the Arduino. You should I'm making this very clear. You should remember which pin you've connected it to. And the next job is to you need to slightly lift the buzzer so that you can find which is the anode and which is the cathode. So in my this case, the front, this leg is the anode. So I connect it here and take another one, uh, another jumper wire and connect this one over here. Take this one and now, since you've done that, you can push it back in. So I guess the ultrasonic sensor isn't that stable over there. Yeah, so I, I've kept it over here. Okay. So this is the anode and that is the cathode. And this pin goes over here. Make sure you interconnect the buzzers and the LED. So you can look over here and you can see four pins G and D, Echo, Trig and BCC. So you may already know what G and D and BCC is. If you don't know, I'll tell you. G and D is the cathode and BCC is the anode. So first connect that. over here and G and D over here okay so now we have two more left so this one let's Give it to the trigger pin or trig and that is connected to pin 2 and the echo pin to pin 3. So I'll tell you how this works. You, co you program the Arduino to first 
send a signal to the trigger pin. So the trigger pin triggers the, the uh, ultrasonic sensor to send a wave. And when that hits the object and comes back, this can sense how, how further it is from the object. Example, if I keep my hand here, it would bounce off from my hand and come back into the, sen the receiver. And that pushes and that uh, allows the echo pin to send a signal. And the Arduino can understand that signal and then we give an if loop. So that means if that condition is applied, it should do this. And that thing is turn on pin 4. So that means the LED and the buzzer would be on. Let's check on the code now. This I have opened a new tab. First search thinkacad.com, then you will get this link. Press on it. If you don't have an account, this would open up. Generate account, and this is the home page. Create a new circuit. Take the Arduino. Take the breadboard. This is one ultrasonic sensor. We would be taking that. This one. Next, get an LED. Connect it to pin 4. Then the GND pin to the negative and the VCC to the positive. The echo pin should be to pin 3 and trigger pin to pin 2. And that is the wiring. Let's do the code now. Now let's take this code out. We don't need it. and then create a variable called ultrasonic and then take this block then take inputs and read ultrasonic sensor place the pins accordingly Then take this, the ultrasonic variable and the if-else block. Go to maths and take this block. First I try it with less than. So if the ultrasonic sensor Records the centimeter range uh, is it dictates a, uh, an object below 10 centimeters, it will ring. Now, here the LED will flicker, which means in the real case, the buzzer will be on off and the LED will blink. As you can see, now it works. See, it doesn't work. That's because the object range is far beyond the sensing limit. So this is the perfect code. 
Let's copy it and paste it into the IDE. Next, paste it in the IDE. Open the IDE. Nope. Then do this. Verify. Filing sketch. When you see this message, done compiling, that means it is safe to upload in your Arduino. Now, as you can see, I have already connected this. So, just connect the pin. Okay. So, as you can see, then this one, you need to click board. It's not this one so I'm using and it's not com 10 com 4 load done uploading and even when you remove it it still doesn't work Nothing is beeping. But this figure is the thief. When it comes in range of the ultrasonic sensor, it starts beeping. It wouldn't stop. And if you click this reset button, there's no, there is no obstacle in the range of the ultrasonic sensor. So it would again be silent. So, the thief is coming. Uh, hello? That's it. So, it needs to come in the proximity range of the sensor. Immediately, all of this would fire. And as you can see, it has that, it has the alarm noise and also this red light just like an alarm it wouldn't stop until the owner clicks the reset button so then the co the re what the reset button basically does is it refreshes it nothing would be deleted everything is stored in the processor but it's equivalent of pulling out the cable and plugging it back in it just resets the code so then it stops that's the only way to stop it. And then if another object came in, it would again start beeping. One dreadful night, the thief is coming into your house. Uh-oh. You could, you could keep it just in the other side of the room so that if any person enters the room, it will be dreadful night. The thief is coming in. Uh oh, busted. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. See you in the next video.